Welcome to Laura Rose Paints. I am Laura Rose and I will be your guide for today's painting, which is a Nightmare Before Christmas inspired pumpkin patch. If you are painting along, check out the description below for all the supplies you will need. Pull up an easel and let's get painting! Beginning with the background, use a small flat brush to mix blue and white for the moon. Make a big circle in the upper left corner and fill it in. While you're waiting for that to dry, rinse your brush, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and mix a scoop of blue with a scoop of red to make purple. Move your brush in a circular motion around the moon and work your way down towards the bottom right corner. If the paint does not slide easily across the canvas, add a small drop of water to the paint. If it's see-through, you may add white paint or you may let it dry and add a second coat. Keep in mind, a good chunk of this will be covered up, so it's okay not to fill it in 100%. Clean the small flat brush and use watered down white paint to make the moon glow. Brush very lightly around the moon, overlapping the area where the blue moon and the purple sky meet. Use the edge of the brush with extra paint to lightly brush a few thin strokes around and on top of the moon. And now is the perfect time for a dry break. Clean those brushes, swap out your soggy paper towels, get a fresh cup of paint water, and if you are inclined to post to Instagram, please tag me at Laura Rose Paints so I can see your work in progress. Once the background is dry, use a pencil to sketch in Jack's Hill. Think of a basic wave shape and make it as curvy or as spirally as you like. Use the small flat brush to mix a scoop of red with a tiny bit of black for a deep maroon color. Use the edge of the brush to trace the outline of the hill and then fill it in. While we are waiting for that hill to dry, let me know down in the comments what are your favorite horror or Halloween movies? One of my favorites is The Nightmare Before Christmas, but what about you? What are your favorites? Let me know down in the comments. And now it's time for the pumpkins. Use a small filbert brush and white paint to draw basic pumpkin shapes around the hill. Think imperfect circles and ovals. By the time you get to the last one, the first one should be dry and you can begin mixing your red and yellow. Paint over your pumpkins with the orange paint, leaving the stems white for now. Rinse your brush and mix yellow and blue to make a green stem. I'm still using a small filbert brush, but you can switch to a round brush for this step. If you want to keep your painting simple, you could stop here, but if you want to add just a little more detail, you could add some shadows and highlights. Use a skinny round brush and red paint to add a few curved lines down one side of each pumpkin. Give it a quick rinse before using it to add a few curved lines down the other side with a mix of yellow and white. Use the same brush and yellow-white mix to pop in a few highlights on the stems and add the tiniest drop of red to your green and use this to pop in a few shadows on the other side of the stems. 
And that is the final detail based on the reference. Feel free to add your own personal touch-ups and details, but the final step is, of course, to sign your name. Take credit for your work, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you feel inclined to post to Instagram, please tag me at Laura Rose Paints so I can see your version of this painting. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a great time and will join me again. And until then, happy painting. <music>